I know that everyone loves to blame chocolate for weight gain and ruining diets and whatnot, but what if I told you that under some conditions, chocolate can actually make you lose weight? If you've been following me here for a while, then you know that I often share videos with studies looking at how different specific foods affect your weight in terms of gaining or losing. I've gone over nuts and bread and avocado, so check those out if you're curious. But for today, I'm going to go over chocolate because I've gotten this question quite a few times. And as usual, to answer this question, I looked through a bunch of studies, and I'm going to share just kind of the general summary of those studies with you today, so that you can also know this little secret about how chocolate can actually make you lose weight. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a PhD candidate who uses scientific studies to help you reach your weight loss, fitness, and health goals. If you haven't already, please press that subscribe button so you can keep up on these mind-blowing studies. At least I find them pretty mind-blowing because generally the science goes against common wisdom a lot more than people expect. And for today's video, I am mostly going over a meta-analysis, which is like a mega study I've talked about here before. It's like the best kind of study you can get. And this meta-analysis on chocolate and weight loss looked at 35 different studies. So they took the results from 35 different studies that were randomized control trials of giving people dark chocolate or cocoa and seeing how it affected their BMI, their weight, and their waist circumference, so like how small their waist was. They split their participants into groups and gave one group chocolate in the form of dark chocolate or cocoa and gave the other group either nothing or a control or placebo type chocolate equivalent that wasn't chocolate. And in the group that was given the extra chocolate, they weren't told to reduce their intake in any way. They weren't put on a calorie controlled diet. They were just told to eat a certain amount of chocolate every day. And then the researchers watched to see how their weight changed and their body fat percent and everything over the course of the next several weeks to months. The results are pretty interesting. So within the first four weeks of adding chocolate to their diet, people tended to gain a little bit of weight. So between starting and between week four, adding more chocolate to one's diet caused a little bit of weight gain. But the crazy thing is that after week four, people actually started to lose weight and actually lost more weight than they'd gained during the first four weeks. So on average, after the four week point, people had actually lost weight on average compared to before they started eating chocolate. So for people who ate chocolate for at least four weeks, it made them lose weight, which is pretty darn cool, I'd say. And this kind of effect actually appears pretty often in diet studies. Like it's been in a few that I've gone over on this channel, like eating with a straw versus a spoon and how that affects intake. It seems like people often get used to something and are able to properly adjust over time. So I imagine when the chocolate was first added to people's diets, they didn't naturally adjust their other intake to make up for that extra calorie addition. But after four weeks, their body probably learned how many calories that chocolate had and about how much it was affecting their satiety and whatnot, and then they probably naturally started to eat less. I'll talk more about reasons later, but now for a specific example of how much chocolate people ate and how much weight they lost. So one of the studies out of these 35 that were looked at had participants eat 60 calories a day of chocolate for six months, and then looked at how their body fat percent changed. And they found that over six months of adding 60 calories a day of chocolate to their diet, these participants lost almost a percent point of body fat. So almost 1% body fat was gone in terms of body composition. And so for example, the fit range for body fat percentage for women is about like 23% body fat. So if you were to go from 24% body fat to 23% body fat, just from eating 60 calories a day of chocolate, that would be like insane. So almost one body fat percent point is a lot. And another interesting thing that this big meta-analysis of all these studies found is that there seemed to be a sweet spot with the dosage of chocolate where people's waist shrank the most when they had about 40 to 60 grams of chocolate. And so that was about 300 calories worth. So it seemed like adding 300 calories a day of chocolate led to the largest reduction in waist size on average, which is pretty crazy. And so why in the world would this happen? <laughs> it's pretty crazy that just adding a food, especially a food that most people think will make you gain weight, actually led to weight loss in people on average if they did it for longer than a month. So there are several possible reasons here. I'll just quickly go through them. The first one is that I think a lot of people don't eat as much chocolate as they want to because it gets a bad rap. They think it'll make them gain weight. They think it's a dessert and it's bad for you, blah, blah, blah. So I have a feeling when people start eating chocolate, 
they actually feel less deprived and so they don't feel the need to eat as much other stuff. So for example, you may remember from a past study and video that I reference a lot where a study found that people who tried to avoid foods they craved like chocolate actually ended up eating more and losing less weight than people who just ate the things they craved because if you don't eat what you crave, then you're more likely to eat everything else and eat more than you would have if you'd just eaten the thing you craved. So that's one possible reason for this effect. Another one is just the nutrients you're getting. So chocolate actually has a lot of good nutrients, specifically dark chocolate and cocoa. This does not apply to milk chocolate or white chocolate. And these studies were done on cocoa and dark chocolate, so keep that in mind. Cocoa has a lot of magnesium and iron, and it's got a lot of phytonutrients, antioxidants, a lot of really great stuff for your body. And so most of these participants were on the standard Western diet because that's what most people eat. And most of your food on a standard Western diet doesn't have many nutrients. So dark chocolate might actually be providing these people with extra nutrients that they weren't getting with their standard diet. And if you're getting enough nutrients, you're less likely to overeat to try to get all those nutrients. And then some other possible reasons, I'm gonna go through them faster because they're very sciencey reasons. So of the very sciencey reasons, I'm gonna call them because they involve some more complicated terms. The first is that uh, some researchers think that chocolate actually increases your energy expenditure by increasing your thermogenesis. So you actually burn more calories from eating chocolate potentially. And a uh, second possible reason is that it actually improves your insulin resistance through epicatechins. One of you who messaged me on my Instagram mentioned those, so shout out to you. You were right, that's one of the reasons mentioned in these studies. And so it's thought that this improved insulin resistance helps people lose weight. Then a third reason that's been cited by researchers is that cocoa may actually change your gene expression in a way that makes you create less fat in your body. So it might actually prevent you from putting on as much fat. And the last more sciencey reason that gets talked about is that it might help suppress your hunger more through ghrelin and hunger hormones than most other foods. And I just want to add a disclaimer. These results are not quite as super straightforward as the avocado and bread results. These are more kind of in the nuts category if you know what I'm talking about from my other videos. So I wouldn't suggest that you go intentionally add 300 calories of chocolate to your diet in order to lose weight. Like I don't think that's a very good like weight loss plan. But what I am saying here, what the studies are definitely saying, is that eating the amount of dark chocolate or cocoa that you want is almost certainly not going to make you gain weight and not going to get in the way of your weight loss. And there's a very good chance it'll actually make you lose a little bit of weight. But don't force yourself to eat more chocolate than you want. <laughs> and remember, this is specifically dark chocolate and cocoa, which is very interesting given that those two types of chocolate are pretty much always vegan. So I have a feeling if you start adding dairy to your chocolate, it's gonna get in the way of these effects because dairy actually promotes weight gain in a lot of cases, but that's for a different video. So if you wanna have all the results of these studies apply to you, make sure that it's dark chocolate or cocoa powder and not milk chocolate or white chocolate or anything like that. And there you have it, the science shows that chocolate can actually be very good for weight loss and that you definitely do not need to be restricting your chocolate or feeling bad about eating it. And I hope this helps you enjoy your chocolate Easter bunny a little more this year <laughs> and generally all your chocolate. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, please, please hit subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you could like it and share it, that would also help me out a lot. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. See you next time.